What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. So, as the title suggests, in this video we're going to be going through how you can smash out all of these ancient vaults in no time and essentially just give you a brief overview of what you need to know while tackling this new Sea of Thieves challenge. And we're going to try and do this in the quickest time possible so I don't waste anyone's time. With that being said, if this video helps you in any way whatsoever, please feel free to leave a like to show your support. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And finally, if you have any questions at all, please post them down in the comment section, that way I can have a look. So with all of that out of the way, let's talk about these new ancient vaults. The ancient vaults are essentially a new mission you can get from the gold hoarders by purchasing it at any tent and these missions will be split into two different parts of the challenge with the option of only making it one part if you'd like to the first part of the challenge will take you on a quest to unlock different pieces of a map with a little radial that shows you different locations around the world sort of like a compass except it's not a compass and this will be located inside of your quest wheel essentially you need to unlock five or six different pieces of a map this can take you pretty much anywhere on multiple different islands while you find these pieces you're essentially gonna have to dig directly on the spot where they turn up and eventually you'll have all parts of your map unlocked. Now at that point once all of your map is unlocked you're going to notice somewhere around that map there is an X marks the spot. What you'll need to do is repeat the simple task of going to that location, digging on the ground and you'll find you get yourself a box with a key inside. Now at this point you can either sell that key slash totem to a gold hoarders and call the mission a day there or alternatively you can take a more riskier route and try and get some extra loot from it. Now we're going to disregard selling that key and leaving the mission there for this video. I'm going to talk more about digging into those ancient vaults because it really is is worth your while. Honestly, spend the extra time, take the risk, and head for those vaults. So backtracking a tiny bit right now, once you get the final item from that map, you're going to notice there's going to be a totem. It's either going to be a moon, a snake, a scarab, a boar, a shark, or a crab. Now these are going to relate to different vaults located around the map. I'm going to throw this little screenshot up on the screen right now to tell you where you need to go, depending on what totem you have. Full credit to the Sea of Thieves wiki for this photo as well. But essentially, if you have the moon vault, you're going to find yourself going over to Crescent Isle. If you have the snake vault, you're going to find yourself going over to Mermaid's Hideaway. The Scarab Vault will take you all the way over to Crook's Hollow. The Boar Vault will take you over to Devil's Ridge. The Shark Vault will take you to Kraken's Fall. And finally, the Crab Vault, which is arguably one of the hardest, will take you over to N13. Although I don't believe it's very likely you're going to find this one specifically for this mission. It usually sticks to the islands, so don't expect to have a Crab Totem. With that being said, I believe it is possible though. Nevertheless, no matter what vault you end up in, it's going to be the same result. Once you open that door, you're going to be under a time limit to get as much loot as you can, with the addition of three hidden medallions scattered around the vault to unlock a bonus extra prize that sells for a considerable amount of profit. Now if this is your first time playing it or you are a fairly new player to the game, which I assume you may be for watching this guide, don't make it a goal to try and get those medallions and get the chest out, it's almost not worth it. Focus more on getting all the chests you find scattered inside the initial vault outside of that room before you do anything else. If you prioritize getting all of the chests out and not going for those medallions, you're going to notice you're going to walk out with around 20 to 15,000 gold from one haul. Now of course that will be considerably higher if you do have the emissary quest running, so I do suggest you run them in the background as well. And the loot you get out of this is almost tenfold compared to what you get if you were just to sell the totem. As I said though, it is an extra risk. And finally, since all of these vault locations are used in the tool tales, if you have already completed the gold curse, you will find this a lot easier as compared to if you haven't. With that being said though, if you do want to know how to do all of the tool tales, I have a guide for all of them on my channel. So that could make this progress just a little bit easier. As mentioned though, you don't need the tool tales to make this easy. You can just pretty much get into it without knowing anything about your tool tales. So with that being said, in the quickest time possible, I believe I've covered everything I can. If I've forgotten something, I'm going to post it down in the comment section. And if you guys if you guys have any questions, please put it in the comment section, that's the best way to get my attention. And finally, if you guys do want to get your hand on an obsidian six pack, what you can do is follow my Twitch that is linked down in the description, or just search up twitch.tv forward slash the cynical and you'll find me there. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like to show support, and I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.